Episode 437, Joe alludes to you abandoning him previous to the pod. Like, there was some type of time where you guys were friends and then you left or something like that. And I think Slick is talking about how close were you two before you started doing the pod again? Because it seems like there's there's some type of history that y'all had and then y'all distanced yourselves from each other and then y'all got back together for the pod and then the fallout happened. Oh, I mean, well, that that type of shit you're talking about is, again, it's, it's just, you know, f- well, what was a friendship uh, and things happening in a friendship where you recognize, like, okay, I got to I gotta do something else because, you know, my situation here is not really benefiting me. Like, I got to I gotta go do what I got to do. But it wasn't like a, a fuck you type of thing. It was, it was just more so like, oh, like, I can't. Well, what I thought we was doing together, we're not. Oh, okay, well, I got to. I got to go do something like I can't just like this isn't working, you know what I'm saying? And that was a a more so personal thing. Like, um, you know, at the time we was we was you know, I was trying to do things with him on a personal side and help to contribute to keep some money flowing in wherever I could. Like and we, I think we kind of addressed that on a few episodes. Like I would bring some shit to the table, <clears throat> whether it be little features with local artists and little walkthrough, you know, back when walkthroughs was a thing, try to bring those, brought a few of that to the, you know, a few of those things to the table. But then even in that, it was confusion, or, well, not confusion, it was an issue with the money that I would be making from that. So I was like, okay, well, you know, I, if it's not, if I'm not going to really be, I got to go do something, I got to make money. And at that time, I was doing things that I shouldn't have been doing, but you know, as as we all know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So that's what it was. It wasn't like a fuck you, we ain't cool. It was more so like, all right, fam, like, we not agreeing upon the business here or, you know what I mean, you don't want me to make the, this money here. Well, I got to go make money somewhere. Like, so I'm going to just go do what I know. And that's what that was. But it wasn't, on my end, it wasn't a fuck you. It wasn't a, we ain't cool. It was a, like, grown men shit. Like, I got to. I gotta go get in the field. I gotta go let me strap my boots up. My nigga, like, that's all it was. Got it. Um, Can I jump in real quick? <laughs> go ahead. My bad. I had to get sent down. I was. I ain't mean to turn that into something. Whatever it turned into before. My bad. <laughs> hey, y'all niggas don't got no friends that y'all don't have to speak to every day, and y'all still cool. I'm you don't have to speak every day, bro. I'm I'm 46 years old, my guy. Oh, so okay. with no, I'm respect, just, I'm just checking. I'm just checking the temperature you know, of the room, like because I don't really. With like respect speaking. to the conversation, why did you say they that? made it a New York thing? Why, why I, you guys were the best podcast ever? People still care, mom. No. People are no. I'm yeah. not. No, no, no. I'm not saying. I'm not saying in regards to that. I'm just asking a question about away from that about dudes being friends. Like, no, oh, okay, guys, oh, right. we could. We cannot speak. We cannot speak every day, and I cannot speak to some of my best friends. I don't speak to for two, three months at a time. And as soon as we That's speak again, as soon as we speak again, it's like we just saw each other last night. Yeah, pick up right where you left off. I think it's, the it question was: it wasn't no beef. It's not no. It ain't. It ain't beef, man. Like I don't I, have. I think the thing is, y'all started the pod in 2015. So if Rory has never been to your crib since 2015, and y'all still got the relationship <laughs> going now. We're talking about Joe. Joe, not or No, I never thought about Joe. I'm talking about the relationship he 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 has currently. Yeah. With Rory. I thought he was talking about the the shit with that I mentioned with Joe. I think our wires are crossed. Um, what more? What would you say to people who who believe that um you you may not take podcasting seriously even now with Rory and Maul in terms of kind of the subjects you talk about? You just had a recent blow up with Edin about the clickbait and talking about salacious topics. Uh, what would you say to that? What would I say to it? Um, I mean, I take podcasting serious. I show up every day. I, you know what I mean? I, I think I bring positive energy into the room, any room I step in, especially the room with my team. Like, I don't bring no negative shit in there. I just don't, with, with, as far as the content clickbait shit with Edin, I think that was more so just a, a sign of the age difference. Like, between Ed and myself in particular, like younger cats, they do, they chase the salacious shit and all of that. Me being the age I am, I think it's nasty when dudes my age do that shit. 
And I understand, you know, even just the context of that conversation, Eden says, yeah, I just, I, I just love to pay my bills. And it's like, okay, I respect that because that's honest and that's how you feel. But you can also pay your bills with some integrity too, though. And I think that's the side that I stand on. Like, I don't really care about a lot of the shit that the internet cares about who fucking who and who said what and who did did it. I don't really care about it. Like, I didn't know who Biggie was fucking or who Pac was fucking or who. I don't. I never cared about that shit. I don't know about that. Bro. I, that's why I fucked your bitch. Remember that? Yeah, we knew Faith and Charlie Baltimore, man. <laughs> yeah, but I, and but, Lil' but did, Kim. Did, that was a, but come that on, affect, man. Now, wait a minute. But did that affect, <laughs> did that affect the way you felt about them? Uh, they definitely I thought Biggie was the man. I thought Biggie Biggie was y'all the guy. Y'all sit on here and say it affected y'all. It affected how y'all felt about Biggie because he was fucking with Faith. Y'all lying, bro. <laughs> nobody, no, nobody I thought cares. He was the man. Nobody no, cares about that shit, man. When nobody Tupac, cares. Like when Tupac said he slept with Faith, that definitely changed things. Well, that was different. That was different because it was a beef at the time. So that that's the whole the dynamic of that was different. Like so, we understand that, but it's just again, you know, the the whole. You know, I like the clickbait shit. Cool. You can like, I don't like that. I never read the National Enquirer growing up. I used to see that shit on the checkout at the grocery store. I used to walk right past that shit and go get the word up magazine. <laughs> All right, so, yo, bad. real quick, this would be the perfect time for me to ask this question because he just mentioned clickbait. So, Maul, I, you know, nothing. I've been a supporter for so long, right? I've been a supporter for so long. I like what y'all, I'm glad you and Rory landed on y'all feet because we know Joe already came in with the platform and had the numbers. I know y'all boosted him, but at least he had the name already, right? So I know, I hear you mention a lot, you know, you on some, you on a, you a stand-up nigga, you ain't on that sucker shit. So I'm curious to know, like, from your own opinion, like, how, how were you always under people's posts, liking posts in regards to that dude? You you sub, you know what I mean? You send in subliminal tweets and stuff, and then you say you you don't do it. <laughs> like, we all see it. So I'm curious, like, why why do you still do it? I'm 43. My man down there said he's 46. I know you in your 40s. Like, why do you do it? Why do I do what? My, my shit was going there now. I'm sorry. Uh, so he's talking about, um, let's say, situations where you seem to like post bashing Joe, like when Tax started those tweets saying those things about Joe, when Drake was trashing Joe, you always seem to like them or comment or put emojis. I can't laugh. But, but it just seems strategic. No, no, it seems strategic because that's all y'all see. When I laugh at a whole bunch of other shit that y'all don't care about or that y'all not paying attention to, y'all don't speak on that. But when it's the shit, you don't deem that to be sucker shit. Like you don't deem that to be sucker shit. Yeah, that it's like, that nah, it ain't it ain't it ain't no suck. It's it's not sucker shit if I'm laughing. Now, if I'm calling somebody behind the scenes and giving them information on somebody, and I, that's sucker shit. But if somebody you. if somebody is cracking jokes, and I laugh, that's sucker shit. Like, come on, man. That's not. I'm, yeah, laughing, I disagree at, with I'm that. laughing at a joke, bro. I'm like, I laugh at all kind. I laugh at jokes about me. Y'all, y'all don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's nobody is above a laugh. Niggas laugh at me all the time. I laugh. With hey, you. Ma, I think that's cap. Because when I called you out on Twitter, I mean, when I called you out on Instagram, you blocked me right away, bro. So I, I want to say that's cap. Nah, but see, you, 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 you might have added, you might have added some side orders to that though. You might have had a couple. All, sides all I said was something, said something. All I said was something about uh, the money bags, so and you blocked me. Nah, nah, nah. What, what, what did you say? I about to say, Mo has never blocked me, yo. Nah, he blocked me. Hell yeah, like, nah. see, this is this the shit y'all be. See, y'all be trying to paint me like this. Like, I, I, I block niggas when they start talking too spicy. Like, mm. that's when you get blocked because it's like, come on, fam. We can we can crack jokes and go back and forth, but when you start talking disrespectfully come on i don't because i'm not i can't i can't play that game i can't go back at you with disrespect because that's corny all right so it's like all right cool you disrespectfully all right cool now it's not now it's not fun no more now i gotta block you do you think that's conducive to you being walking around now joe that was really good um (laughs) uh edin's here shout out to edin um edin how are you man you're the talk of the town you're, I'm chilling. How's everyone else doing? Okay. How's your mental? Oh, I'm all right. I'm pretty good, I think. Okay. <laughs> Are you right. good, Eddie? Like, uh, like for real? He just asked me the same. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what else I could say. <laughs> Honestly. 
Okay. Well, Ma, what do you? Oh uh, man, I don't want to rehash it, but you guys are embroiled in, in a controversy. Um, Rory was here. Ed, Ed and and Tukin don't have to speak on it, but there's obviously the situation. But we didn't get your perspective as being one of the co-owners of the podcast, the business partner. What do you? What are your thoughts on the whole um, fiasco with Fiskate? I mean. You know, we got we to gotta talk about that more internally, but, you know, it's something I think that happened amongst two people that, from what I know, seem to have a pretty cool relationship with each other because they hang out often, you know, away from just work. So, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what happened. I don't know, you know, what's been any type of feelings that have been kind of harbored and it just came to a head that day. That's again. That's all internal, internal shit that we'll discuss in a, in, a, in a couple of days. But you know, I think that yeah, just, just something that happened with friends, or if not friends, you know, cool coworkers that spend time away from work with each other. And I think that night something just happened that you know we need just need more information on and more conversation about because it's, it obviously is, is rooted in something. It wasn't just that night there's some feelings and some energy coming from somewhere else that I think may have been just reached a boiling point and that may be the reason for it and if it is we got to talk about it we got to discuss it you know what I mean and, and try to try to move past it in a healthy way you I mean, happen to be away from the pod that day Maul if you had have been there you got a phone call but if you had have been there would you have let that episode come out um I don't know because if I was there, obviously I think we would have had uh, a, a, a talk about it. I spoke to Rory a couple of days ago, um, and from you know they, I was out sick, so they had called me, and I, the energy that I got from the call was that everybody seemed to be laughing about it and all was good. I got I thought that you know the fellas had talked about it and moved on from it, you know. Like that was the energy I got on the phone, which is why I kind of just laughed at it and thought it was funny because from what I know, they are like cool. They hang out with each other away from work. You know what I mean? They, that's not the first time they've been to a bar together, like and kicked it after work. So I thought that it was all good and whatever, whatever. But I do understand how some people were like, oh, well, you know, if this was anywhere else, Eden would be fired. Yeah, but this ain't anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. Like, it's like, this isn't like, you know, they work at a company together and they just see each other in the hallways and they were at the holiday party and, you know, then he just punched him in his face. Like, nah, these this is like we travel together. You know what I'm saying? Like we we've eaten dinner together. We've been to bars together, been to parties together. Been, it's like there's a different relationship here. So that's why a conversation is needed based on that alone, because it's like, well, damn, like, is there something underlying here is there some tension or emotions that just were never addressed and it caused this like because if that's the case then we gotta you know i mean we gotta try to fix that i i think like you that it would have been better handled in-house and i'm not certain that the episode should have came out and I respect what you said with regards to when it was brought to you your attention it was done so in a joking manner but um, I think that's just a testament to Julian's temperament. You know, like he said in the episode, he was taking it with resolve. So if he had have not been so chill about it, then, I mean, it could be a bigger issue, right? Yeah, but that's, again, like you said, because the energy was so chill and it seemed like everybody was kind of just, like, laughing about it. And I felt like, okay, Ed and then they must have all spoke about it and, you know, moved on from it, like, not nah, apologize, whatever, you know, it was like, it's all good, bro, you know, that type of shit, like, I don't know, but again, I, in information that I have now, and, you know, it's like, okay, well, damn, I wish I would have been there to have a conversation before recording, but again, real time, you know, things happen, you don't always get it right, um, but again, as long as we learn from it, and, we move better after it. I think that it's all good. In the moment, you know, cool. Yeah, we sh maybe the episode shouldn't have been recorded. Maybe it shouldn't have been put out. Maybe everybody should have just 
went home for the holiday and, you know, we we'll reconvene at another date, but that's not how it happened. Episode came out and we just got to deal with it moving forward. Like, I thought that's, you know, this is podcasting to me. It's like, okay, at least this is some real shit. Okay. So it's not like fake. It's like actually something that happened is what you're saying. All right. Um, I, uh, I think we could wrap up soon, but I just want to ask if anyone has questions, um, please get them out now because we've been here for like three hours. Yeah, I had one question, Ma. Uh What was the conversation like when they told uh, Rory not to come in that day? And why did you leave? Why did I leave? Uh, I mean, we spoke about this a thousand times, I feel like. But again, <laughs> uh, my bad. I again, probably wasn't here when you said it. But you was born two years ago, right? Oh shit! <laughs> hey, I mean, we bro, spoke, we, I'm, be I'm just, I'm just saying we spoke of, but I'll, 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 I'll address it just for you because obviously you probably didn't hear. But again, had a conversation, was trying to make right of the whole situation and what happened, and that was met with disrespect and ego and things like that. And at that point, it's like I don't think this is a resolvable thing. Like this is just what it is. This is just where the ego is at. And, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't battle with men and their egos, bro. I, I like women. You know what I'm saying? Um, any other questions before we wrap? Y'all built a pretty good cast of other hosts. Is the, do y'all plan on expanding with more shows, more solo shows, giving other people a spotlight? Y'all have probably one of the few respected female co-host on a male show out of all podcasts is Demaris interested in doing any content on her own is I mean I, I I can't speak for for her but uh as far as uh Rory and Maul uh yeah we got we got plans to to to, to do a lot I think we want to uh build on obviously you know moving into a more uh, TV, film space, um, you know, podcasting is great, but I think we kind of want to use that as a uh, a space where we kind of unpack everything that we else that we got going on and kind of, you know, have funny interaction and conversations based around that. Uh, but I do think that we want to do some 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 bigger things in the visual space, things that I don't think people would be really expecting from us. I think they kind of see it but they don't really know what Rory and I are really trying to do and have plans on doing and I can't give it to y'all here on spaces but we got some uh we got some interesting things happening for sure. Um I right. one glad last question. That. Uh what happened? Somebody said something? I, I was just saying I was glad to hear that but I'm just gonna say the irony is not lost on me to uh <laughs> you're a private person and Rory hasn't been to your house but you guys are best of friends and business partners, and the people that hang the most outside of work are the ones that got into a physical altercation. <laughs> see you. I see. I see. What, what year you was born? You was you used to be a slave too, huh? Yeah. So, see, I like I like niggas like you. Man. See, I like see because I could say certain things and you just understand it. Like people don't understand. Like being private now and is is I'm acting weird or you moving funny. It's like no, nigga. I'm just a private person. Like I'm not moving weird or acting funny. Like. This is just who I am. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, like, you know, Rory and I, we have understood it's, it's like a joke now. It's kind of like nobody's ever been to my house that, that works with me. You know what I'm saying? But again, that's not it's not because I don't like the people I work with. It's not because I don't respect the people I work with. It's just it's just a kind of like a boundaries thing. Like, you know, like, nah, this is just because I'm gonna be honest, if we weren't and when we were in the middle of uh, finding our, our new uh, studio space and building that out, we had to go to Rory's crib. Had it not been for that, I don't know if I ever would have been to Rory's crib. Yeah, I, I guess it's a New York thing. Again, I'm from Detroit, so it's a little different here. You know, we politic and pregame at our people crib before we hit the club. And like, stuff. I've, been to, but, I've been to the front of Julian's crib, never been in his actual crib. <laughs> well, listen, you know, if we could get a skit out of... Even if it's at a fake set, it don't even have to be your real house. But if we get a skit out of out of Rory finally making it to your house, I think it'd be hilarious. No, <laughs> it's a for to the you space. project. You're the only one who finds that interesting or 
<laughs> question it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think, think that I think that, it, I think that it makes for it makes for just you know a, a whole fun type of conversation. Uh, you know, again, it's it's kind of like Tommy and Martin, like. Does he have a job or does he not have a job? It's kind of like, <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? It's like that just kind of just just adds adds to the chemistry a little bit. You know what I mean? But it's not out of like I said because people be like, oh, he don't really fuck with them. Like, what are you talking about, man? Like, no, that doesn't mean I don't fuck with the people I work with. I love these people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with them. You know what I mean? I spend more time with them than I do some of my family. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I fuck with them. I respect them. We have fun. You know what I mean? And we respect each other's space and privacy and things like that you know i didn't go to i haven't gone to a, a knicks game with julian yet but i sent him some tickets when i didn't want to go mm. you know what i'm saying so it's like <laughs> you know it's like we we have our we have our relationships with each other and we have our dynamic with each other that works you know what i mean so all right i think that's cool because last, last time i tried to share space with a close friend, I turned out to be <laughs> vagabond and hiding detergent and all this other shit. So kind of like, this is your first you know time hearing vegan vagabond today? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't really be, you know, I don't really, I don't really be paying attention to a lot of the shit that is said from 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 that from that whole you know experience because again, it's just like living in the past for me. Like I'm trying to move as far away from that as I can, man. But y'all won't. Y'all won't let a nigga move away from it, man. It's the end of 2023, and I'm on space and still talking about this shit. Somebody wanted me to ask you about the 92 bricks. I don't know what they mean, but... See, that's a cop. That's an officer <laughs> infiltrating the spaces. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. now, now you bring a police it's into the hey, it's hey, the it's hey, it's Power it's to the people. We're back to do maintenance. They've infiltrated yeah. the spaces. Yeah, uh, it's it's the Hey, Moss, since you moving on, can you all black people... Oh, c- 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 come on, man. Don't I want to get on block. Yo, my, like, listen, nah. you hear me? My block list is so crazy. Like, <laughs> I have fun with that shit, man. I love blocking people. Officially hey, mall. You? Officially mall in the book. <laughs> Yo, I right, love listen, I'm just happy to not be blocked, then. I'm happy to not be blocked. I don't think yeah, I mean, blocked, you know, like just crazy. let's just have fun, man. When niggas start talking, because then it's like, I don't know how to. It's like you joking or you like with the disrespect. I don't know what's real. And I don't it know was a joke. joke, man. It was a joke, bro. But I don't Nick, know. Man, I don't. Bro. I don't know you. So if you're talking crazy. It's like, yo, who is this? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't know. Who this is. At what? I have a question. At what age should you stop asking someone to be your mentor? Like, is there a point like where you should? Not ask <laughs> them, them shot, Danny. You gotta relax. A mentor? Yeah. What shot was that? I don't know what y'all talking about. It's, a, talking it's, about a, it's an inside spaces thing. It's an inside oh. spaces thing. But it's oh, a valid okay. question. Can you answer at, it? <laughs> at what age should you stop? I mean, you always want to look to somebody that's older for motivation and shit like that. But I think once you once you're like a, a grown man and you know, you're paying all your own bills and shit like that, like you don't it's okay. Who who is your mentor? Who who are you pointing to? Is it somebody? In your, three years just, older than you. I, I am. Uh, I'm thirty. I'm thirty five. I feel like I'm never asking someone to be my mentor. I'm sorry. No, nah, I mean thirty. I mean it depends. Is it, is it somebody in their like fifties, sixties? Then I can understand that. But if it's somebody that's thirty seven, thirty eight, you tripping. I feel like I could watch how you move and maybe use that as guide. But to like look to you to add like, yo, what is Maul doing? Like, Maul, what do you think I should do here? I, I, just, I don't know. I feel like you just got to put work in. That's always been my I mean, I understand what you're saying, and I think I'm on that same side, too. But, I, again, I would rather somebody look for somebody to mentor them than to be out here lost, making dumbass moves and doing <laughs> shit. Maybe I'm hey, wrong, man. Go ahead, Slate. Maul, do you and Jay, like, crack jokes and mess with each other about both beefing with Joe Button? <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, man. <laughs> No, man. like it's not, it's not that deep, bro. It's, 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 I promise y'all, it's not. Those conversations don't go past Twitter Spaces and podcasts. Bro. What about uh, Okino and Sparks? How do they feel about? <laughs> um, so, shout no, out that's to that's actually Mo. a good point. Hold on, that's a good point, Danny. Um, and Manny, who was in the Spaces a while ago, he said he's a very dear friend of yours. How do you feel about? Your personal friends who work between the two pods, I guess, you know, because like you saw him at the uh, party for Rosie. They made mention of that. And um, oh, the I, question, seen, I, guess, I, I wasn't there for that. I didn't see nobody. Oh, um, OK. OK. So you weren't uh, at that party. Yeah. But um, 
again, man, you know, I, I understand people got, you know, things to do. People got bills to pay. People got, you know, families to take care of. I'm not mad at that. I don't have beef with none of those guys, like, at all. Like, I, I said some shit that rubbed me the wrong way, of, like, earlier this year on the episode. And I, I wanted to reach out to him and and ask him what he meant by that. But I just left it alone. What did he say? I don't even feel like. Eh. Again, man, it's it's, it's it's nothing. It's nothing that serious, which is why I never reached out. But, you know, I just. Those guys over there know me pretty well. Like me and Imani went to high school together. You know, I've known the rest of those guys at least 10, 11 years. Um, and I don't think that they have anything negative to say about me. I don't have anything negative to say about them. You know, I just wish that when certain conversations was happening um, and certain things was being said, that they would just be a little more vocal about my character a little bit. And if not, that's cool too. But it's just like, damn, like, you know me, homie. You know that ain't me. But again, I understand that where you're at right now, you got to do what you got to do for whatever reasons. And I was, again, it's all love and respect. I'm not upset at nobody. You know, I don't, I just don't walk in those rooms and those spaces anymore because, you know, I understand that the dynamics have changed and people have chosen which side of the fence that they own, which is, which is great. You know what I'm saying? Like, cool, do your thing. But I was just, I was just designed a different way, man. And I was just, you know, certain things were just instilled in me that I just can't move on. I can't, I can't, I can't, I got to stand on that square forever. Especially when I'm right. See, I'll, yeah, I'll, I change, could... I'll change if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm not stubborn. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hard headed. But when I'm right, I'm going to stand on this shit longer than the Statue of Liberty, my nigga. Did you ever figure out what math meant by whatever he said? <laughs> Again, man, you, you know, dudes, just be, everybody's just making content and making conversations. And sometimes things are said out of context. And I laugh at it. But, you know, when when you know who you are, man, people will get mad that you don't react to shit. Like, that's I don't, my, react, that's I don't my last react question. a lot of shit. My last question is, how come y'all haven't gone on a big platform like that? I don't think y'all have done a big podcast. Y'all have gone on Rogan. smaller podcasts. Not even Rogan, just um, Million Dollars Worth of Game. I know you quit Wallow, uh, the other pod. It seems like you're intentionally avoiding these big platforms. I don't know if it's to give the smaller ones shine, but I would love I, to see you on them. I mean, I, again, I just... I'm not, I'm not running around just trying to kick it just to kick it. Like, what are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's more so my thing. I'm not just trying to kick it just to kick it and, you know, shout out to everybody that has a platform doing their thing. But I, I'm i not hitting nobody like, hey, you know, I would love to come sit down and talk to you. Like, I, that's just crazy to me. Like, what are you talking? Like, huh? Like, I'm not hitting no nobody saying I would love to come sit down and talk with you. Like, now, if somebody reaches out to me and say, yo, listen, man, you know, I want to have you on so we could talk about this, that, and it makes sense, then I'm down for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm all the way down for it, but you can't. I'm not just. This ain't a world tour to talk about a previous platform that I helped build. Like, I think we passed that. I, I again, uh, you know, what's going you, on over there? Are you prepared for that? You will never be past it. It's kind of like Dame finds himself talking about the situation with Jay Z twenty years later. Like, it's kind of. I, I mean, I, don't, I only I only answer the questions when y'all ask them. I don't ever bring it up. Okay. Y'all keep asking me, and I'm just like, damn, y'all still want to talk about this? Like, uh, okay, I don't know what y'all what y'all missed or what y'all information y'all don't have by now. Like, this is what happened, and uh, I wasn't going for it, and I don't deal with disrespect from 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 nobody, and it it ended. Like, my I'm no longer sharing that that space or that energy with nobody. Like, that's it. It's not as, you know what I mean, it's, this isn't like a soap opera. It's starting to feel like, you know what I'm saying, a soap opera. All my children or some shit. Like, this shit is, nah, bro, this is what happened. And this happens in life. Sometimes people say things and do things that's disrespectful. And those people never hang out again. That's all. All right. Um, 
No, nah, I appreciate that. Is there one last thing you want to say? Like anything, any any parting words? Any parting words? I'm um, trying to be poetic. First of all, don't ever tell a man you're trying to be poetic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I nah, love that. Man, that's I, what that's know? that's on my bucket list. Mall telling me not to do something. All right, yeah, don't ahead. yeah, don't do that. That's nasty. <laughs> that's not hip hop. Yeah, that's definitely to... not. Um, po- you poetry. End on a, that's poetry. crazy. Poetry is hip hop. Poetry is hip hop. Anyway, go poetry ahead. is hip hop. That's a fact. Uh, <laughs> nah, man. Just shout out to shout out to you know all the creators and anybody that has an idea and actually try to move forward and, and put it out in the world. I, you know, respect it. Um, you know, take your nose as, as many nose as it takes. But um, you know, never lose sight of who you are. But stay solid, man. Stay solid. You're gonna float. Anything solid is gonna float. So. It may not seem like it in the beginning, but, you know, just stay solid, man, and, and enjoy the shit. Have fun. Don't take the shit too serious. You're supposed to be, we're supposed to be having fun. That's what, at least that's what I thought. Now this shit turned into, you know, do, do niggas have beef, do niggas have